The voltage breakdown or dielectric strength instrument measures the amount of voltage that can be applied across a dielectric sample before current flows freely. Be sure to wear the proper personal protective equipment, including goggles, gloves, and a lab coat. The sample is made using the slow speed saw. The sample is sent to a sputtering lab where a conductive coating is applied. This assures that there is a continuous conductive surface that will apply the voltage over the entire sample. To use the instrument, a key must be obtained from the individual responsible for the instrument's maintenance to turn the applied voltage on and off. The main switch must be flipped to the on position before lifting the lid and inserting the samples. To load your sample, depress the red power off button, then lift the lid. As the lid rises, two metal arms will lower, shorting the transformer circuit and preventing the flow of electric current. Do not load the sample until the two arms have been lowered. By raising the top probe, the sample can be inserted between the two probes within the oil bath. Lower the top probe to close the circuit. The voltage will be applied once the metal arms are raised and the instrument is running. After the sample is inserted, the lid must be closed for the experiment to be performed. To begin the test, turn the key to the on position. Make sure the voltage setting is set to zero. To check this, press the red reset button to reset the digital output to zero. Also press the reverse running button to return the voltage knob to zero. Make sure the voltage ramp is set to 0.5 kilovolts per second and the current to 10 milliamps. These settings may be different depending on your specific test. Press the clear power on button to allow voltage to build. To begin the voltage increase, press the forward running button and the voltage knob will begin to turn clockwise. The voltage will now be increasing at a rate of 0.5 kilovolts per second. Watch the sample within the oil bath. Most runs will take about 30 to 60 seconds. When the current begins to flow freely, you will see a spark, signaling that your run is complete. The digital display will show the maximum voltage that was applied to your sample prior to short circuiting. To remove the sample, press the red power off button and lift the lid. Make sure the two metal bars are lowered before you reach in for your sample. Secure your sample with tweezers and lift the top probe to remove it. Shake off any excess oil and close the lid. To prepare for additional runs, zero the voltage by pressing the digital reset button and the reverse running button. After your runs are completed, wipe down the interior of the oil bath housing where oil may have dripped. Turn off the main switch and turn the key to the off position before you remove it.